Hi guys, I'm Nurse Drea, and today I'm going to talk to you about tummy tucks. How do we prevent necrosis? Well, the number one reason why patients will become necrotic is due to a bad habit that we're aware of could be smoking or vaping. Nicotine is a, what we call a vasoconstrictor that closes off the blood supply when you're trying to get oxygenated blood to that incision line, you need to have open blood supply. By smoking, you're actually closing off that pathway and you're making yourself more prone to necrosis. So how do we prevent it? The first way is to stop smoking or stop vaping anything with nicotine in it for three weeks before surgery. Uh, we are going to evaluate medical conditions. If you are a diabetic or you have a medical condition such as lupus, uh, we would definitely notice that you are gonna be more prone to having necrosis, unfortunately, after your tummy tucks. Now, the most controllable way that we can prevent as caregivers, as we, that we can prevent our patients from experiencing necrosis, is by making sure that they maintain proper positioning. Tension on the incision can cause necrosis because it cuts off the blood supply that that incision line needs. Also, wearing a garment that is too tight, that can cause necrosis because it's inhibiting the blood flow. So you want to always monitor your patient or monitor yourself to make sure that you're not noticing any dents or any bruising taking place from the faja or the binder that you're wearing after your procedure. You're also going to want to make sure that you're staying in proper position. Now you may have a surgeon that does not do an aggressive tummy tuck and he might not be so adamant about you staying in a specific position. But as your nurse, and as your teacher, I want you to always treat everybody as they need to be in the letter L or a letter V when they're sleeping. Now you're probably wondering, what is she talking about? Why are we talking about letters? Well, the reason why is when you stand up straight, do you see? I've got tension, I'm standing up straight. So that is pretty much pulling tension. What happens to your, your little fat rolls or your stomach? You're pulling them straight. Well, if you had an incision from hip to hip, now that we're standing straight, I'm pulling on that incision. That's, believe it or not, cutting off the blood supply that we've been talking about that we need to feed that incision so that it can heal. So what am I going to do? I want you to bend. I want you to bend this much. If I tell my patients, if your back doesn't hurt in this process, you're not doing it correctly. I often give them a walker and tell them to use a walker because it helps to take the tension off of the back. If they're doing it right, they're gonna definitely be complaining about lower back pain. So your patient's gonna be walking like this for at least five to 10 days, depending on the, the surgeon's instructions. Now laying down. When you lay down flat, as you could see, I've got tension on my stomach. Nope, everything is pulled nice and tight. That's not what you want with a tummy tuck. So how do I need my patients? They've got to put their legs up like this, like a letter V. See, because they're gonna get the blood supply from the upper part of my torso and my legs. Everything is going to be relieving the tension and it's also going to keep the blood supply flowing in that area.